it's beer o'clock on Real Love Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Stone Brewing Company and it's their Ruin 10 IPA coming in at 10.8% ABV. This beer was brewed to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Ruination IPA, the notorious Ruination IPA, the double IPA. I'll show you the bottle cap. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you. There you go. Loads of smoke on the opening. Yeah, it was the beer that that's everybody loved from Stone Brewing Company that they brewed and everybody wanted to buy and enjoy. So I think after 10 years, they decided to go ahead and Celebrate it with this, a 10.8% ABV double IPA, and I'm, wow, even from here, I'm a good 300 millimeters away from this, from this beer, and already I've had a waft of fantastic hoppy aroma. The clarity on this beer is wonderful. Look at the lovely orange color to this beer. Lovely carbonation rising up the middle of the glass. It's a one finger, slightly off white head. Rock that beer back and forth. Look at the the small bubbles chasing the the head up the side of the glass. Oh, I've got to get the aroma on this lovely clear orange coloured amber ale. Blimey, my goodness. And that is so chock full of hops. Look at my eyes. I think I've just burned a hole in my eyes. Wow, that is so powerful. So pungent, powerful, and just powerful. Grapefruit powerful. This is a turbocharged double IPA. Smells quite sweet, as you would expect, extremely hoppy. Let's go ahead and dive in. Cheers. And there, oh, and there it is, mesmerising, absolutely mesmerising smack of hops, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, that is an absolutely belting, belting IPA. It was, there was a lag, I've got to be honest, the beer is so sweet up front, it's a, it's a very, very sweet up front and that's to combat that's to try and balance them hops and as that sweetness fades and fades and fades it's like somebody's pulling on a giant elastic band and they're pulling quickly and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and then there's no slack left and all of a sudden all of that kind of stretch and pull is coming back and it fires at your palate and it lands on your tongue and it explodes in the inside of your, your mouth. And it's a monumental bitterness. It's absolutely almost unexplainable. But with not just being a bitter beer, it's got flavour. Grapefruit, mango, loads of pine, and there it is again. It almost, it almost makes you want to stand here with your mouth closed and not move your tongue, not move any anything in the inside of your mouth. Just stand and and just be in complete shock by the pure power of these hops coming through. And it's 
it's a mind bending brain slamming experience because I just I can't do that I can't stand in front of the camera like this I've got to I've got to talk I've got to do something I've got to I've got to explain to you guys what's going on and I'll be honest it's very difficult it's very difficult this beard is so so hoppy I'm going to be honest here, I do have a small gripe with this beer, and I, if I can be honest, it, it's a little syrupy, it's a little, and as I mentioned earlier, they, they obviously added a lot of sugar to this beer to combat the mega, mega amount of hops in this beer. And it's just, it's not a synthetic feel. But it's a little syrupy. It's like, it's, it's like the, the mouth feel is, is almost of a cough medicine, almost of a, of a, of a syrupy kind of, cough medicine it, it just kind of sticks and slides and it's a little bit like an oil slick but very small gripe I mean I mean very small it's the smallest of criticisms for this beer it's sliding down look at it, it it's really going down well um, as a beer reviewer you have to be a critic, you have to say what you feel. Um, I feel that if there was any less sugar in the beer, then, then it would be absolutely... Well, they've obviously made sample batches of this beer and they've, they've realised that they've needed this amount of sugar. You imagine taking some of this sugar down and, and, and it not being such a kind of cough medicine-y, syrupy brew, then it would have been just overly hopped, I think. I think it would have been just just way too much. So it's a difficult balancing act. Plus, then, they've got to get the beer at 10.8% ABV. And that's another another argument entirely. That's another, another complete issue entirely. The more malt and the more sugar that's added, the more you raise the alcohol in the beer. It's very good. It's very fresh. I bought this in Brewdog in Cardiff just the other day. Yesterday. Bought it yesterday. A stage drive into a mosh pit of hops. But yeah, other, other than that, other than that, other than these great hops, these monumental hop slab of a beer, the, the grapefruit, the mango, the tropical fruits, the lemon, the lime, it's a top-notch beer. But would I buy it again? That's the question, would I buy it again? And I think for the price I paid, it would be birthday territory beer, Christmas day territory beer. You know, you open it with your Christmas dinner, you open it in the evening, Christmas evening, or you open it on your birthday. Especially in the UK anyway, where they've had to export it. It's quite pricey. Um, it's certainly not a beer that you would buy week in, week out. It's just, for the UK, it's a little bit too expensive. Comment, um, if you're in America, if you're watching America, how much is a bottle of Stone Ruin 10 IPA in the States? Um, I, I totally understand that this costs involved with, with shipping it to the UK and, and, and taxes and everything else. So I, I didn't mind buying the beer for, for, for what I paid. But I think if I were to buy another bottle, it would be opened Christmas Day. Rating then for Stone Ruin 10 IPA. There it is. I'm 
I'm going to give it a 9. A 9 out of 10. I think it's a little too sweet. I think it's a little too syrupy. The hops are monumental. The hops are amazing. But they're the only little gripes I've got. Other than that, I think if they could kind of try and do something with that almost too sweet beginning to the beer, the, 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 the first mouthfeel, the first taste, as soon as it hits your lips, it's, it's, it's quite sweet. If they could kind of dial that down a little bit, then I'd give it a 10 out of 10. But other than that, absolutely fantastic beer. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.